For hundreds of years, people have come to White Springs to enjoy its crystal clear water. Today, the springs are dead. White Springs Vice Mayor Walter McKenzie talks of the history of this place and what it's meant. Okay, well, the, the history of White Springs, of course, geologically goes back for thousands of years. Native Americans used to come to this spring for many thousands of years before white settlers came to this area. Uh, in 1835, we began to settle this area, and Brian Sheffield, who originally bought this property, recognized that it had a potential for tourism because people wanted to come here and partake in the health-giving waters of the spring. So in the late 1800s, he built the first hotel built to cater to tourists coming into Florida. To make a long story short, tourism grew, and eventually we had 16 major hotels and four trains a day coming into this area, and this spring was the genesis of it all. Of course, in those days, the water flowed out of the spring instead of siphoning back into the spring as it is now. Uh, with all that tourism, White Springs prospered and grew, and we claim the title of the original tourist destination in the state of Florida. Uh, many rich and famous people came here. Henry Ford, uh, the Rockefellers, a Carnegie or two, Theodore Roosevelt. And as a matter of fact, Mr. Flagler, who built the Florida East Coast Railway, used to visit here. And we're pretty sure this is where he got the idea to build the railroads on down to the rest of the place where he knew the tourists could go. Sadly, as time went by and the groundwater was pumped out, the springs flowed less and less, eventually began to be dry on occasion, and now essentially for the last 20 years, this spring has been dry. The only time it flows, it flows in reverse, as the river water goes back into the aquifer through this spring which no longer flows. It's a sad sight to see when the river is down because this is now just a dry, empty, stagnant pool, and it's very disheartening. I've actually seen people that experienced the spring back in their youth in the 1930s and 1940s come back, take a look down in the spring, and begin to cry at what's happened to it. So it's a shame, but it has a rich and a glorious past, and its history should be something that we look to, to look to what was in the past and be in the future. And hopefully someday our spring will flow again. Helen Miller is White Springs Mayor. She's one of the emerging voices for saving North Florida Springs and for building this city's future. In 2009, the University of Florida conducted a study for Hamilton County, trying to find us a way to look at how we can develop the economic resources in the area. And they recommended a series of cultural heritage and ecotourism activities for White Springs, Jasper, and Jennings. The officials here in White Springs, we took that and used that as a basis for coming up with a plan for economic revitalization. And those plans included uh, lodging, an eco, uh, eco hotel, conference center, a winery so we can add value to local products, a cannery, same situation there, folk life um, and working activities for uh, singing, dance, all the other activities related to the arts and culture. We took that plan and are moving forward with the help of the University of Florida and Florida State to develop an action plan. And without water, without water we can't go forward. And so that is why we've sort of become the poster child for the state needing to come up with a workable plan so that both the coastal areas and inland counties and cities have a chance for a future. That's what we're all about and that's what we're working toward.